Hey, Raphael here today, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install um Kali um Linux tools. So this video is actually intended for Ubuntu users. However, in for this um particular video, I'm using Linux Mint, but the process should work the same way on Ubuntu, seeing as Linux Mint is based off Ubuntu, and the process is very similar. So first things first, we're going to be using a Python script called um Catulin. So I'm highlighting it right now with my mouse. It is Catulin.py. Um, it's a Python script that you can download um, with this command over here. So copy and paste this command onto your terminal. So I've already pasted it over here on my terminal. So what we're going to be doing is, so once you download it, a file, we will um, extract the file onto our desktop. So Mine, for example, is on my desktop. If yours is on your downloads folder, then you need to like change directory onto your downloads folder because right now mine is on my desktop, as you can see over here. So we're gonna first go to our Catulin folder. So you can do pwd. If you have watched my previous video, you would see I said pwd means print working directory. And we have we are now in our um Catulin folder, which is this, and we can confirm by doing ls to list the files that are in, that are in the folder. So as you can clearly see, they match. They match. So we're going to be making this Python file executable, and the way to do that is we're going to be doing chmod plus x Catulin dot uh, py. So now if we were to do ls-al to see our permissions, if you look at our file here, so our file here is highlighted now because it's executable, and if you look at the, the left over here, we can see read, write, execute. So the RWX stands for read, write, and execute. So now we have execute permissions. So now that we can execute the file, let's do sudo dot slash katulin dot py. Now the reason why we're doing sudo is because most of the commands here are most of the commands that will be that will be running in the script they will need sudo permissions like such as adding repositories or installing tools. Now that is a hassle to do so let's just simply go into root and we can do cutsol in the py without any issues. So the first thing we're going to do let me maximize this now the very first thing you need to do is you need to add a repository. So you cannot install the tools yet because you need to add the rep Kali repository so that it will know it will be able to install the hacking tools that you desire. So we're gonna click one on our keyboard and we're gonna press enter. And then we now have we are we now have another menu here which is gonna ask, do you want to add Kali um, Linux repositories? Do you want to update? Do you want to remove the repositories or do you want to view your sources.list? Now, this sources.list file is the one that contains all your repositories, but we want to automatically add it. So let's click, let's press 1 to add our Kali repositories. And then we have to press number 2 to update. So this number 2 will update our sources.list. And let's click enter and let's see what happens. So as you see over here, our repositories are being updated. So wait for that to complete because it has to update our Kali. So if you look over here, Kali rolling, these are the Kali repositories that Catulin had added for us. And then we can um we can control C and and then reopen it. And now we can go to number two. That's this view categories, and then now we can install most of their tools. So if you want um, wireless attacks, so this is like the wireless hacks. If you want forensic tools, if you want um, password attacks, so like stuff like brute forcing, like you can hack their passwords or hardware hacking, reverse engineering, or if you want to exploit like tools like Nikto to find exploits in websites. Or if you want to install every tool, you can um, press zero, but However, I would not recommend installing all of them at once because that that can break packages and that can cause the system to become unstable. So my advice to you is to install the tools individually. So let's 
Control C. Let's let's um exit Catulin right now. Um, if you want to install them and take the risk, you can. Or but let's show you. So like, can do apt install, and then we can do something like Metasploit. All right. So Metasploit dash framework. I forgot to add that in. So now. If we do Metasploit the framework, it's gonna install um the Metasploit hacking tool here. Um, I don't need to install that because I already have Metasploit, so I don't need to install. Or if you want to install stuff like Aircrack this ng, which by the way, Aircrack is a Wi-Fi um hacking tool, which you can like monitor traffic or you can do a dictionary attack as well on WPA passwords. I don't have to do that because I already have Aircrack, as you can see over here. But so yeah, that is pretty much how you install um, Kali Linux tools. And thank you all for watching. So if this video helped you out, uh, leave a like and also subscribe. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.